hard to make. It's them a school. And I'm only 14. To get ideas for shapes, colors, and everything, we could go to the museum, the zoo, the public library, or we could make them from our own imagination. Here are the materials you will need. Newspaper, paste, toweling, string, scissors, wire, brushes, and paint. Let's watch Bill while he starts making animal. That's what he calls them. First, the edges of the paper are folded. Then a piece of wire makes the paper strong and easy to bend when it is rolled into a tight coil. The ends have to be good and tight. You'll need four coils. They're all made in exactly the same way. For the animal's body, Bill uses one coil. To make the legs, he passes the coil through the body section and bends and ties them into place. Boy, it's really sturdy. Now the coil for the head and neck is tied on. A single bend makes the neck. Easy, eh? Bill experiments with different shapes for the head of his animal. Choosing one, he bends the coil to match his drawing. we are working on our animals. We're trying to give them weird and interesting shapes. By the way, here am I. I'm stuffing the head of my animal to make it look bigger. And that's my pal Bob. He's enlarging the body. Bill is now ready to cover his animal with a layer of toweling. This will make a good painting surface. See how the toweling is folded and torn into thin strips? These are easily covered with paste. Then he carefully wraps strips about the animal until it is completely covered. she's the one in the center, has finished covering her animal and is looking it over to see if there are any spots not yet covered with toweling. Now she tears some more toweling into small irregular pieces as big as half dollars. These are for the second coat, which may be applied to the first coat while still wet. The pieces are pasted and overlap like shingles on a roof. For a smooth painting surface, 
Bill covers the whole animal with paste. Setting it aside to dry, he makes several pairs of funny-shaped ears. It's too snobbish. Mmm, fancy. Ha, that's just like Uncle Louie. And here's the pair he should choose. Bright color makes the animal sparkle. Bill remembers to paint the underside first. Of us try to make our own animals look different. One way to do it is to start with bright paint. That's Elaine. She painted stripes and curlicues on hers. Cutouts. That was John's idea. Wow, what a super job Dorina's done with colored paper. Some of the others added little scraps collected from here, there, and everywhere, such as twig antlers. Button eyes. A fur coat. A ribbon collar. Or a woolen tail. So that is our story of making fairy lab creatures out of common everyday materials. Remember, to make an animule, you will need newspaper, toweling, string, wire, paints, brushes. Make sure that you roll coils tightly, tie in securely, experiment with body shape, Tear thin strips of toweling. Make animals sparkle with color. Accessories give character. class worked together and finished up making a circus merry-go-round. It was fun. Why don't you try?